Welcome into an all new episode of the Players Lounge, where today we're joined by Houston swimmer Zarina Brown. Zarina, you've been collecting the accolades since your freshman year in a number of different freestyle events. How surreal has this experience been for you up to this point? It's been really surreal. I struggled a little bit in high school, so it was really nice to come here and drop a lot of time and be able to actually get some wins in and just represent Houston in a good way. Now that you're in your third season, what advice would you give your freshman self going off what you know today? <sighs> Everything works out. <laughs> I, I questioned my coach a lot freshman year, and I... I get now where he was coming from and it makes more sense so I guess I would have told myself to trust the process and that it would come eventually. Now when you go online and you look at Zarina Brown's bio it's a long list of awards and accomplishments. <laughs> um, what would you say has been your most proud moment up to this point? Um, one of my races that was probably the most memorable was the one against um, my old teammate Ksenia Yuskova at uh, Phil Hansel last year, we both really just wanted to beat each other and she went 144.88 and I went 144.89 to get the, like, I think fourth and third to second last spot last year at NCAAs and that was, I don't even remember that race because like we were just so hyped up for it and it was probably the best thing I've ever been in. That is awesome. Now, your team is going for its third straight championship. Why is your team positioned to bring home another title? Um, I think we have a lot of depth on our team. We have a lot of girls that can um, get a numerous amount of girls in the top 16. We've been doing things this year that we've never done before and getting our minds straight. We got a new strength training coach mid through the season, and he kind of got us in a mindset that, like, we can keep perpetuating and keep going and it's not just we don't just stop here at conference like we want to make a huge presence at NCAAs and so it's been just like a huge forward momentum this year. You personally are going to become the first Cougar to make back-to-back -back NCAA appearances since 1989. When you hear that what's the first thought that comes to mind? Um, nothing. Honestly, I just want to smile. That's, it's huge to be able to represent Houston in that way. And just, I, it's always been a goal of mine to like, make sure that we're there. And I remember last year, there were a bunch of coaches that come up to us and they're like, it was really great to see UH like have a presence on the deck at NCAAs again. And that just to like, know that I'm a part of the program and how it's going to change in the few years. And hopefully we'll get into the top tens and just in the in the years coming to be able to be one of the first starters, I guess, of it. I know you're only a junior, but when your swimming days are over at Houston, what kind of legacy do you hope to leave behind? I, I hope to leave the thought that Houston is a good place and you can grow here, even though we're not in one of the Power Five conferences, that you can make a presence and you can succeed here in the, the University of Houston. Speaking of Houston, you're originally from Colorado. Why was Houston yeah. the right fit for you? Uh, well, originally when I looked at schools, I didn't want to go to Texas at all. So it kind of, it's kind of funny that I ended up down here. But it was wherever the coaches, I felt like I had a connection more than just swimming. I wasn't just times. I was a person, and I wanted to be here academically and athletically. And Ryan made sure to – the first thing he asked me was, what are the top five most important things that you look for in a college? And he made sure to check off every single one of them. And so I knew that he cared about making sure that I enjoyed being down here and being away from home because I'm such a homebody and I love my family. What were the top five most important things when you were looking for colleges? Oh, gosh, I don't know if I can remember. Um, <laughs> one of them was I wanted to be in a city. I didn't want to be out in the middle of nowhere because I wanted to be able to do stuff. I've always been adventurous. Um, another one was when I was on my recruiting trip, I wanted to make sure that I fit in with the girls and because I knew I was going to get homesick at one point or another. So I want to make sure I had a family down here that would take care of me. Um, another was like scholarships just because like that's, I mean, always something that everybody looks for. And then academically, I want to make sure that not only would I succeed in the pool, but I would also set myself up for a really good future. But I, I don't remember the fifth one, but I know those four. <laughs> We're going to get to your future in a second. But you mentioned being homesick. Colorado and Houston, Texas are, are pretty different places. What has been the biggest difference so far to you? Um, the mountains. I really miss them. I used to go to the mountains like every weekend. And I'm a big hiker. And it's just I miss 
being able to just get away because I would use those as almost like a when I'd be stressed I'd use it as like a therapeutic kind of thing and so that's been probably the hardest part is trying to find something therapeutic down here. So you're missing the mountains but what do you love the most about the city of Houston? I just like this like the outline when you drive by the city of Houston is beautiful like I like the city of Houston but I like the city of Denver. Um, I just like that there's so much to do around here and the food is so good. It is really good. I can attest to that. Do you have a favorite? Like, are you into the Tex-Mex? What's your favorite restaurant? Like one place you have to go to when you're in Houston for food. What is it? Something that's like for like only in Houston. Sure. Like what if people, if your friend's coming to Houston, like where's the first place that you're taking them? That's like this, this is Houston food right here. <sighs> Gosh, I don't know, but I know like for a fact, me and my roommate, like she's obsessed with Torchies, so we go to Torchies a lot. And like there wasn't one by my house in Colorado, so I'd never been to Torchies until I was here. Torchies is pretty good. Um, the burger joint, I'm like, I'm really picky about my meats, and the burger joint is just, it just hits the spot every time. Their milkshakes are so good. Buff burger, I'm pretty much a burger person, I guess. <laughs> that is awesome. Torchies, the burger joint. Okay, you guys got a lot going on. Um, you mentioned your future. What is next for you post-college? What are you studying? Um, I am doing business admin and marketing, and I have a mathematics minor. So I, I honestly want to just start out like in the, a corporate job, but I want to eventually be a CEO or start my own like company. I love it. Lofty goals. You can do it. All right. I <laughs> have to ask you about your name. So I was reading this. Your name's Zarina, but you have two sisters. Xenon. No, two brothers. Brothers. Okay. My bad. Brothers. Correct me if I'm saying these wrong. Xenon and Zankai? <laughs> Zenon and Zakai. Okay. Totally butchered those. All I know <laughs> is that they all start with Zs. Um, what is the story behind all the Z names? Um, well, this is a story that I've come up with. I've kind of taken what my mom said and made it like my own story. But my mom originally lived in Illinois and she got pulled over one time and they started to arrest her because they, there was a warrant out for a, a lady named Lori Brown. Well, it turned out that there was the same Lori Brown, different social security number. So my mom was like, okay, they have to have unique names because Brown is so generic. And she also wanted us to be known on a first name basis. So they, that's how they came up with all of those. That is amazing. And what is like the age difference between all of you? Um, so my oldest brother, the age difference between us is 11 years, and then the other brother is eight. So they're going to be, one's going to be 30, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing, 31 <laughs> or 32. Hopefully your family doesn't see this. <laughs> and then the other one's going to be 29. <laughs> that is uh, a one-of-a-kind story. I knew there had to be something there because those are three really awesome names. Well, Zarina, thank you so much for taking a few minutes, and best of luck at the Swimming and Diving Championship next week. Thank you so much.